screenshots of this is meant to be sponsored content. You can't burp in the middle of it. <laughs> this, no, this no. ads. No, I'm no, not. No, I'm no. not going to start over. This is what sponsored no, content is about. This is what you get when you get me. Screenshots, they can smell it through the camera. Please. Yeah, perfect. Do you remember the comment that someone was like, "Bro, just fucking get into yeah, it." Yeah. Well, fuck. Yeah. Actually, we'll quickly speak about that. Someone said to me, <laughs> um fucking don't preamble at the beginning get straight into it and do you know what I was going to take their advice and do you know what I'm going to do now do you know what I'm going to do now this it's your fault that's your fault that's his fault he just added five seconds onto people's viewing time so fuck that guy am I right and I'm also sweaty but fucking look at this Visvim shirt do you know what I mean just look at the shit it's fucking crazy and uh, yeah but today very exciting um of which I will be, I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna do this live whilst whilst we're filming and see what jumps out at me. Um, for me, I have been so particular about what I wanna do, sponsor content, and this is, insert clapping noises, drum roll Seb, the first sponsored video that I'm going to do. Today's sponsor content is gonna be around the store, vintage archivers, amazing people at La Norze, um, which is a, uh, it's run by Harry and Ross. They are amazing guys. Just to give you some history about them and their background is that they uh, started in lockdown and it was run out of Harry's flat in Northwest London. They would have been like using Instagram to sell all their kind of like, just find it from wherever in the beginning um and just like really really just get especially like british belgian designers and they were sourcing wherever they can to begin with started in the flat then they did their first pop-up in paris and they've kind of like really elevated since and gone to like new york tokyo um they have a showroom in camberwell which i just visited and i'm going to show you the, the the piece that i picked up um in the beginning of the video um which very 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 gracefully they gave me um these junior trousers i might have to get them now i'm so excited about these trousers i can't wait to take them to the tailors oh i've also not had them tailors so i'm going to show you how to tailor some pants um but they at the moment have over they've been open just over a year they have way over 500 pieces i really really urge you they'll be at the top of the description they're linked to their website i really really urge you to go and either just dm them talk to them they're the nicest most down-to-earth people ever they're so keen and they've got great taste on just collecting like anything and everything they started in those those kind of worlds but like man like i went and they've got this crazy Catherine hamnet jacket they had the classic issy parachute bomber they've got kind of like more tasteful margiela pieces that not everyone else is going to have they've just got they've got everything whatever whatever your flavor is they absolutely have it um they have like a permanent kind of collection as well but they also do rental and that kind of thing but uh yeah lenorze amazing amazing store and i'm gonna wait let me let me just I'm gonna do a little video, but I'm gonna flash him now real quick. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. These, like, I I can't get over them. These junior com pants, man. Like the texture. First of all, not to compare brands, but like the texture is so like what I would think of Bottega right now and like Blazzy kind of Daniel Lee Bottega. They are so, so amazing. I'm going to show you the fit on in a video in a second. And I, I, I know I need to tailor the waist and the length in these, but like absolutely just love that they're kind of almost like a classic like five pocket denim fit. But this it's just this chevron tweedy material that's got all these little like orange bubbles on them with the turquoise in between and it's just this like don't even know if you can am i gonna fuck with the camera if i do this but like the texture's unreal and so's the color and like i've been looking for more fun fun fashion pieces um that i really 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 love and yeah they're just they're just amazing man they're just absolutely absolutely beautiful and i cannot wait to wear them I need to step into the tailor so and I know that anyone who does vintage and collects that kind of shit is gonna hate me because if I tailor them, not many more people can fit in them because I'm fucking tiny, so fuck you all. Anyway, gonna get into it. Let's do my top 10 of La Norze in their store. Um, I saw so, so many pieces in the warehouse, again, which I really urge you to do, to, to go and see because it's a really, really cool space. It's in Camberwell um, and it's just, 
it's one of those places where I said to the guys when I was there, like, I don't have energy for vintage a lot of the time, just sifting through the rails. Sometimes I've got it, but it's very, very rare. Because of how well curated their selection is, it, you, you, you're excited to see the next rail and the next rail and the next rail. And it's just, it's really, really nice to kind of like, it's very refreshing to go and see a place like that, that has it so well curated. Um, and it's really, really cool to kind of do that appointment in person as well. And they can do some sort of like private appointments with you as well. Um, but first piece I'm going to talk about, piece number one, is the um, it's the Raf Simmons uh, pink military shirt with uh, epaulets. It's this is a it's from 1997. This is a crazy piece. This is I actually tried on in the store, um, which well in my appointment I'm I should say, um, which I absolutely love. It's only 220 pounds. It's crazy. With the kind of 90s fits, uh, they are very, very slim, tall kind of aesthetic. Um, so this one didn't fit me that well, but I, I love the color. I love the idea as well. Um, that was the first piece that I absolutely loved. Um, second piece is we're gonna go for this. Uh, this I did try on and I loved. I was very, very close to getting this, which is the um, Martin Margiela 2002 camel coat and this is a classic it's got the hidden buttons as well but the velvet collar is just a, on the uh, uh, like for the contrast collar is just such a great touch the fit of this is insane as well and for this kind of coat as well again like one thing that i was really really surprised with is um now if i say this and everyone goes and they do really really well it's just going to blow this butt up but like their prices are crazy like their prices are so so well reasonably priced like these two guys like give a shit about fashion and they really give a shit about clothes, which is very refreshing again. But I love that coat, I saw that as well. Um, it's, it's an amazing, an amazing piece. Um, next is this uh, John Richard Destroy, John Richmond, sorry, Destroy, 1990s double layer um, cotton patch bomber. Um, I really, really, really like this piece. I'm not like the biggest fan of the placements, but like just the shape and the color. I've been looking for a bomber recently. I just, what will also be in the pickup video, I just got a, a Martine Rose bomber. Um, this kind of like uh, beautiful, uh, it's like this, it is like a dis dusky pink rose color. And it's got the logo on the back, but this time it's distressed and I love that. So the logo on the back actually looks like maybe it was vintage um, once, which is really, really cool. Um, Next is uh, this Catherine Hamner uh, oversized denim shirt, which I also tried on, which I also loved. Um, it was a bit too big for me, and I'm not doing my oversized things at the moment, but like, as I said, I mentioned the jacket there before. Anything Catherine Hamner that they have, that they source, is so, so, so beautiful. Um, and it's just like, that shirt is just like, it was reminiscent for, for days past when I was really into my oversized stuff. And I know that that as well for like, they've got a lot of things that definitely do really well with unisex. So a shirt like that, Fiona would have loved. Um, you could absolutely wear it as a dress, but, and also as well, like really, really impressed with how, like the quality of all their clothes as well. But that was a piece that I absolutely adored. Um, next was, oh, that's not it, that's the bag. Ah, that's the bag version. Oh, they've got this, um, oh, nice. Okay, I didn't even know they had this. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead. Um, Number five is a Margiela uh, vest in alpaca from the early 2000s by um, Miss Diana. And this is like reminiscent of something that just came out recently. I'll try and find a photo of a set, but like uh, a friend of mine, Ricky, he's got the red version in, uh, it came out just a couple of years ago where they did like, the, it might even a couple of seasons ago, not even a couple of years, but they did this kind of like vest in like the red um, and they did it in a blue as well. And this is kind of like speckled, really classic, like chunky knitwear from Margiela. Uh, I love something like this. And like coming into like winter, if it actually fucking cools down in England, this is gonna be so, so, so perfect. Um, I really, really want something like that, to be honest. Um, and then next we have uh, the Margiela Cubs crew neck bag, which I think is like, this isn't a piece that I'm gonna pick up personally because like there's a level of practicality that's personal to me to my wardrobe and I think this is really fun. But they also have an insane Margiela jumper there as well um, that I really, really love. Um, but this is like uh, the crew neck bag from 1999. Um, really, really cool piece. They did another crew neck they had at the appointment when I was there that's just like this old Margiela inverted almost kind of um, 
uh, this like inverted piece um, that was just amazing. And I, I fucking should have got that as well, man. I should have fucking bust some money out there. I'm really upset. Um, okay, so next. <clears throat> Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, there it is. Next is this uh, Comme de Garçon Gold Blau uh, uh, Blouson from uh, 2007. This is kind of like a showy piece. I'm not always going to like wear this, but like to an event or a dinner or something a little bit more formal. I would really love to play around with this jacket. Um, again, the silhouette for me is just a little bit too... Uh, it's just like a little bit too shiny, but I don't know. It's... Uh, this on the right person would be like amazing even during the day but like i would love this for kind of like an evening jacket i also just found the mars yellow jumper which is beautiful so i'll tag that onto that as well um it's the michigan it's really really oversized and again like i wish i was back in my oversized phase because i am to some degree with some proportions but like these things i'm talking about are very very oversized i think i have a photo of me in this but this is a beautiful jumper and like very 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 highly collectible as well um i was really really impressed with that piece like liked it a lot um honestly some of the skirts that they do as well are just like so fucking cool i'm gonna do an honorable mention because they have um and I just got a book from Bottega, by the way. If you, I don't know if they're still doing these, but like they're giving out free books for um, Hussein Chalayan. Is that how you say his name? I've never Googled it or cared to Google it. He did personal drawings for Matthew Blasey. And I just had a book that's it's down here. I'll, I've shown off the prints on my Instagram. It's an amazing, amazing thing. But they have some really, really awesome women's stuff there. So we'll do this in honorary for the, for the girls as well, which is this like beautiful classic like Chilean boat neck um, dress super flat it's almost got like a paneling in the top half that's just so beautiful um, and he does like simple so elegantly and it fits into this like amazing avant-garde kind of like just category that just no one else seems to be able to do and I don't really know how he does it but he does um, and then do you know what we'll, we'll, we'll include the jumper and we'll just do one more. Um, where is that piece? There was one more piece that I really, really, really loved. Oh yeah, it's these. This is like very out of whack for me, but they're just so fucking cool, man. They have Junior 2006 suede spiked cowboy boots. And these are just so fucking crazy, but like, especially like in this heat, if you just throw on some like, dirty rip denim a fucking tight wife beater and some like cool sunglasses they're so fucking awesome man and again i don't know how they find all these things in such great condition too but they're just man they're just so 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 beautiful i love them so much but it's just it's one of those things where like i i wouldn't normally go for that piece and when i was looking there as well like i'm not actually i mean you guys know this i'm not the craziest vintage guy and like I was really pushing myself there to try and like try new silhouettes and try different things, um, and yeah, it's just it's amazing. But what they have on the website is only like it's just the tip of the iceberg to what they have in their collection. And I really, really urge you. I hope you liked what I picked. Um, their website updates and changes every day. Like I checked the website when I went for the appointment. There were a few different things that weren't on there now, and there's a few things that have gone. You know, they, they do private sourcing as well and whatever it is, all your fashion needs where you want to find something or whatever it is, like, please, please, please go to these guys. Couldn't be happier to do someone who's like on their path up, who's a bit smaller, who has like that genuine connection of clothes that I love and that I want and I really want to do more sponsored content like this. I'm talking to a few other uh, private smaller like collectors and sellers of, of this kind of like stature and I think that's like very very important to do as much as I do really want to do like the bigger websites and bigger brands and like I want to pick through everyone's archives and show the best pieces and showcase all the all the pieces that I love I think it's really cool to start here where like it's just like the the best normal people who just really give a shit about product and um these are those guys so i hope you like what i picked i actually don't hope you like what i pick i couldn't give a shit i think i picked amazing stuff so and they've just got so much to choose from that if you do somehow think that i've picked bad clothes which is almost impossible 
go and fucking chat to the guys and let me know how you feel. But yeah, that was amazing. I can't wait to fucking sort those trousers out because I just I don't even know how I'm gonna wear them, what I'm gonna wear them with, but they're just so fucking insane that like I might just wear nothing. At the moment, I'm just gonna rock around with nothing on because it's far too hot. Even ramblings make me hot, so fucking peace. Bye. See you next time, maybe. I don't know, whatever.